Hey guys, Shadow the Rat, and for today's video, I'm going to be continuing my Meet My Rat series, which is basically a series where I highlight certain rats in my group and give you a little bit of information about their backstories and their personalities. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about Butter. Um, and Butter is one of my first dwarf rats. She is a Harley Black Variegated Dumbo Dwarf. Uh, and she's a super sweet little rat. She is definitely one of the favorites on my channel currently. Um, and I can see why. She is such an amazing little fluffball. Uh, she and her sister Toast are actually my first dwarf rats. And I've wanted dwarfs for a long time because dwarf rats have the advantage of not typically developing cancers like mammary tumors. Uh, they can still develop them, but the chance of that happening is on par with a standard female rat spade at a young age. So after having a lot of standard intact females, I really wanted to try some dwarfs because a lot of my standard females have developed tumors with age, uh, and unfortunately they are just really prone to it. So I just wanted some rats that are more resistant to these types of cancers, uh, which is where these dwarf girls come in. Now, I originally found their breeder on Facebook. I know that is kind of the trend for a lot of my current rats, uh, but basically I joined a group for a neighboring state, and that's where I found their breeder posting about their dwarfs. We got to talking, and basically they told me that they were willing to transport the rats up to around an hour away. And because they were around two hours from me, that worked out well because it means that we could meet about an hour away from me, uh, and then neither of us would be driving too far. And so I just thought that was super nice of them to offer to do that sort of transportation. And so I told them that I'd be watching their rattery page and that I would likely be reserving some dwarfs in the near future. So a few months later, I reserved some dwarfs, and a few months after that, I got to take my girls home. So that's how I got Butter and Toast. They come from Boggle Brothers Rattery NC. Uh, definitely worth checking out if you're into dwarfs or silver manes or just rats in general, because all the rats are super sweet. Anyways, as far as Butter goes, she is a Harley rat, which means that she has long fur. Uh, Harleys can be prone to protein sensitivity and skin issues, but thankfully Butter is not. She comes from a line of Harleys that has been selectively bred away from those issues. It doesn't mean that none of the rats in that line can develop those issues because Harleys are just prone to skin issues in general. But as far as Butter goes and her parents and siblings go so far, none of them have had any skin issues, which I'm very thankful for uh, because I didn't really want a Harley to start because I was worried about skin issues, but she was the only other dwarf left other than Toast. And if I I decided against getting her then I would have to wait a few more months for another dwarf to be born in order to pair with toast before I could bring them home. Uh, so I just decided that it was easier to take butter home because the breeder said their Harleys did well on normal rat food and thankfully that has been the case with butter. Now, as far as Butter's personality goes, she is a very sweet and friendly rat. She loves to climb all over you, she loves to jump onto you, she's very easy to handle, and she's very, very soft and pettable. Um, it's really fun to pet her, but she is always on the go, so that's a little bit difficult. And she likes those sorts of things, it's just she's always on the go as well, so usually she has something else she'd rather do at the moment. Uh, but that might change as she ages, we'll just have to see. Anyway, she's a very sweet rat, and I absolutely love training with her. She learns tricks so quickly. Uh, she loves to play and chase things around. I like to drag things around for her to chase. She really enjoys that. Uh, she really loves my other rats, including her sister Toast, who is another dwarf, and also all my standard rats. She was afraid of some of my standard rats for a while, which was one of the reasons that my last intro took about five months to complete. Uh, but now that she and all the standards have fully bonded, she lives very happily in the cage with all of them. So yeah, she's a very sweet and social little rat, and I absolutely adore her. She's just one of the best little ratties, and every time I come downstairs and see her just waiting there with her little paw on the cage door and her little fluffy nose sticking out, I just want to pick her up and pet her little fluffy head. She's just such an amazing little rat. So yeah, that's pretty much it for Butter. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed learning about Butter's backstory, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!